the time of King Darius and Daniel had to be brought in to interpret a very serious dream. Uh, but before then, of course, Daniel was a youth, maybe about 12 to 14 years old before they were taken to Babylon uh, as it were in, as, uh, in slavery. Uh, the, the first time we noticed that Daniel was in chapter 1 of the book of Daniel. Then at chapter 6, he started to become much, a matured man. Amen? Amen? Hallelujah. In the palace. And he, had, he served about four or five kings or so, four kings. Uh, that tells you the potency and the power of the spirit of what? Of excellence. You see, all things being equal, ascent or no ascent, color or no color, if you, want, if you have what it takes, if you, have, if you have what the people need, they will pick you out, out of the crowd. Your name that they could not pronounce before, they will start pronouncing that name very well, because you have become the boss, amen? <laughs> Pray the Lord. For our teenagers and youths, just like where we didn't come here as slaves, thank God for us we are born here, but just know that by the grace of God, the spirit of excellence, excellency is in you, or spirit of excellence is in you, Amen. and you have to manifest it. Now, you know, as youths, you don't have to, you must never operate below the standard of your parents. You must not. It's an, it's an aberration, if an abomination. That anyone in this land, born here, you went to school here as a child, you grew up here, you must never operate what? Under the level of your parents. Is that clear? Teenagers? I'm not hearing yes from them. Youths? I'm more than cool. Where are they? Praise the Lord. Your standard will be high. Amen. The ungodly will look upon to you Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Maybe I keep to my notes. Shadrach, Meshach, um, Daniel, and the three others were taken to Babylon, like we said, by King, by King Nebuchadnezzar. Where they were recruited into the, the, the palace team of officials, as, as young people, they were going to be trained. Uh, the, the, the quality was that in Daniel chapter 1, verse 3 to 4, the quality is that the, the criteria for recruiting them was they should be children without no blemish. Can you help us, media? No blemish, but well-favored, and skillful in all wisdom, and cunning in all knowledge, and understanding signs. Pray the Lord. Hallelujah. Now, you can have this quality and still be a mediocre. God, God forbid, in Jesus' name. So that, I mean, that spirit of wisdom from God is very essential, very, very important for all of us. Because we have seen talent, talented people wallowing away on the streets. Very brilliant men, they suffer, turn to beggars. Because something else came and took over. That is why we must encourage ourselves in the things of the spirit. Amen? Amen. Like this time around, there is going to be a fasting and prayer. If I were you, I will key in into this leverage, this the, 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 that, I call it a leverage because it's, going to, it's taken up to a standard higher than the standard of, of this world. By the time you are keen to the spirit, you are putting above and very, very high standard against the standard of, what? of this world. Pray the Lord. Hallelujah. Remember what Paul said? Is he went to where? The third heavens, which means there are other levels. Once you begin to key into the things of God, actually if it's a corporate thing like this, you are raising yourself to a very high standard above the what? The elemental spirit. 
Remember that Paul said that the prince of what? Prince of this earth. Uh -huh. So, God will help us in Jesus' name Amen. to have that wisdom so that we can overcome whatever is going to destroy the standard of God in our lives. Hallelujah. Well, along the line, Daniel developed himself a purpose in his heart and he developed himself into what? Into an outstanding person. Very, very outstanding. In fact, at that chapter 6, they, they had, uh, um, is it 24? 24 princes and the three presidents and then it was go, what? going to be number one. That is how he has developed himself. Pray the Lord. I pray that all of us will develop ourselves. Amen. This year in the name of Jesus. Amen. To a very high standard. Very, very high standard. Of, uh, of, of, of uh, high standard of morality. High standard of relationship. High standard of knowledge. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Of know-how. And I, I pray God help us in Jesus' name. Amen. Daniel chapter 5, verse 12. Daniel chapter 5, verse 12. What does he say? Uh, let's go. What is it? In as much as what? Excellent spirit, spirit of knowledge, understanding of interpret dreams, serving of readers. Go ahead. And explain of enigmas we have found in this Daniel, whom the king named Belshazzar. Now Daniel, he called and he will give you the interpretation. That is the queen mother reminding the, the, the king, I mean the king mother, there is somebody in this land, your father, was, he was a palace official, can you call him? Wherever you are, May excellence, may, may the spirit of excellence bring you forward. Yeah. You'll be noticed. They will observe that this, this, this girl, this boy, this man, this woman is different. That will be your portion in the mighty name of Jesus. So this man, this, this, this guy that has engineering, scientific knowledge, now became what? An interpreter of dreams, very skilled in in the palace administration, the know-how of the strategy of the company, how the company can make profit, and all of that, palace can make profit. And of course, as for you and I, I pray we would also have this, this add, 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 add ons as they call them, into whatever talents we have in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Uh, pray the Lord. Because... Uh, as em employees, well, our employer will require so much from us, even beyond our letter of employment. Amen? At least they want, they expect some common sense, is that not? Uh, they, they call something IQ, someone EQ. Amen? Uh -huh. That behavioral excellence aspect of it they want it from us. The same thing God is expecting, that we will have passed beyond just being born again to be what excellent Christians, believers that are reliable, dependable, that have high standard and ethics. May God help us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Now, what is excellence? This is the dictionary explanation, not mine. Excellence is, def is, is defined as quality of being outstanding or extremely good. What is excellence? The quality of being what? Outstanding and extremely good. It is the gradual result of always what? Striving to be better. I pray that it will be our philosophy this year. We striving to what? To be, be better. And I pray the Lord will help us. As Christians, so we shine as the light of the world. Amen? So that if they're angry against us, they, they, are, they want to look down, but they will remember, uh -uh, 
this guy has this stuff. This man is looted upstairs. Praise the Lord. He has the know-how in this company. We can't just treat him or treat her anyhow. Ah, praise the Lord. What is excellence? It's a quality of being outstanding. The quality of being extremely good. And we can all achieve that by striving to be what? To be better. Is that clear? We strive to be better in what we're doing. Uh, maybe you buy books. Maybe you wake up in the night, you are praying. Pray the Lord. Say, Father, help me. Help me. Uh -huh. Before you know it, help us come. Yeah, you are broken through the mediocrity. Uh, you are now flowing at a particular level that it's only God that can put you there. Mm, I keep telling all that as a Christian, you don't beat yourself down. You don't, you don't think, oh, it's finished with me because there's grace. There's what? Grace. To ascend to the, to, to, I mean, to have, it gives us access to what we don't have. We may not have asset, but we have access to another level through Jesus Christ, our Lord. And I pray that all of us will explore those assets in the name of Jesus so we can have the asset that we need in Jesus' name. Now, how do we become excellent? How do we become excellent? We need to, ex ex we need to encourage ourselves in the spirit of God. Amen? Because the th spirit of God is the spirit of what? Of excellence. If you are not born again, you must be born again because that open door for the power of God to come and reside in us. We must endeavor to be filled with the Holy Spirit. In fact, did you, there was a time they told us that anyone that's not filled with the Holy Spirit should not be in the choir. Amen? So, choir, I don't know how many of you are going to be in. When we come after you, praise God. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Uh, be born again. Encourage yourself to go higher. Be filled with the Holy Spirit. If you are, if you are not filled, fast and pray. The Holy Spirit, come and fill me. Yeah, because we need that power of excellence to be in us. Then from us, it now comes out of us. Be filled with the Holy Spirit. And of course, we also need to indulge ourselves in seeking the inspiration of the word of God. Amen? The, what, what do we seek after? The inspiration of the word. You have the infilling. It's in you internally. I mean, you are born again. You are registered in heaven. You belong to the kingdom. And now you're not using the tool of the kingdom. The tool of the Holy Spirit. And which other tool do you use? The tool of the word. Uh, as you spend time with that, the Bible says you move from what? From glory to glory, and you get brighter and what? And brighter. Your path shines brighter. You, you, there are some things you don't get just by praying. You have to take some time off from the television, from your uh, chit chat to the, f the phone, and all of that. You just, you just have to do that. You have to, you have to balance things up and heavily weigh uh, defaulting in the spiritual, the spiritual aspect. Amen? Because the spirit gives birth to the physical. Amen? Everything you see here is via imagination, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, when we came here, this place was very rough. In fact, everything was rough. Thank God we have some money. Amen? <laughs> God bless all the times in this house. Amen. Praise the Lord. And that's why we, there are some demands here and there. We don't bother you because by his grace, some of you are giving to the church. And there's is, there is no waste here. Amen? There's not? No waste. Because we don't have a factory that produces money. <laughs> we have human beings who labor. In fact, I've told the, the, the treasurer, anybody that buys something, that don't, don't come with the receipt. Don't give the fellow the... Amen? Praise the Lord. Uh, you must put your name down as for who, who chop money. <laughs> I'm, I'm joking. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. 
And may God help us in Jesus' name. And as a pastor, you, you can't just do as hey, uh, Osha, uh, come. Let's go to uh, which, which of the best store here in uh, uh, uh-huh. I want to change my wardrobe. Ah, you want to go to prison? <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> Amen. Uh, and I've told him, uh, you must, your record must be what? Intact. Uh, uh. God forbid, but in Jesus' name. So the Lord, the Lord is, is faithful. And he will see us true in the mighty name of Jesus. We must encourage ourselves, what? In the things of what? Of the Spirit this year. Because we are going to make tremendous profit this year. Amen? So the time you spend in those word, the word of God, in Bible study, the, God gives you the reward in full measure. In fact, the scripture says, press together <laughs> and running over. If I, as a, as a, oh, as a, not only pastor, if you are in the spirit, you can sleep for one hour, and that covers for ten hours. You just wake up, and if you are not waking up, you, somebody will come and tap you. You just will tap me. It's the Holy Spirit, because you already came to what into the things of what of God. I pray all of us will walk in the spirit this year, in the word of God, that inspiration must come, be born again, like it's telling us. If there is any hindrance, there is sin. Repent, renounce, run away from it, far off. Don't go near it at all. Because you have gone back, and you don't want to go back and back and back. May God help us in the name of Jesus. Amen. I feel like not rushing. Anywhere we get to, we'll stop. Amen. <laughs> I'm under authority of the ushers. Amen. <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> when they begin to say, that, it's not. Amen. How do we... Become excellent. Number two, we must purpose in our heart that we must that desire in our heart to be the best. Amen. That purpose in our hearts to distinguish ourselves by applying godly principles, highest ethical standard. That uh-uh, this is I must not go below this. Uh, uh, Praise the Lord. Uh, we are friends, but I can't give my body to you. You, know, you can't touch me. I'm special, amen? Uh, exactly. Especially for the girls and for the boys. Yes. We're in the church. We are in the same department, the same unit, but you can't. I'm special. You can't touch me anyhow. Amen. I'm a, I'm a jewel. I'm a precious daughter of God. So there are like Joseph. Joseph, the wife wanted Joseph to be, of, of Potiphar wanted Joseph to be playing, playing with, with, uh, with her, immorally and all of that. Joseph said no, but one day she wanted Joseph to sleep with her. But Joseph said, ran away. And I pray that there will be all of us who maintain standards Amen. in the name of Jesus. I told you, I, I've told you before, as a lawyer, I never knew there was even all these tricks around on the streets. Somebody called me for uh, property management and all of that. But when I got there, they brought some money out. They brought a bucket with water and they washed it and they brought some clean notes. I'm talking of Malachi now. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Uh, Praise God. <sighs> but I said, ah, lawyer, hey, that. I said, no, I, I'm not interested. Amen. Because my idea was, I would like to go home. And I told my wife, I brought money. She asked me, where did you get the money? <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> where, did, where did you get money? From where? Is that fear of God that was in me that saved me from? Because they were already telling me that we are going to buy some things. We are going to buy towels. We are going to buy perfume. We are going to share to go and wash the money. I said, What? We're going to buy, so they, that's what they want to take. They want to take, get that money from me, and then they push me out. I said, "Wow, I didn't know that at all." We will be gathered by high standard, yes, high standard, in the mighty name of Jesus. 
in marriage, if you want to get married, there are some, there are some signs you'll be seeing, odd signs. If you, if you want to cope with them when you get married, okay, that's okay. Uh, this, that's your business. If you are, or go, if you are a Christian, God will tell you, we show you some things. In fact, I even show you some bad dreams. Red flags. God bless this IT guy. <laughs> Praise the Lord. There are what? Red flags. And the Holy Spirit also tells you, no, you are going beyond, you are crossing the line uh, of, of other, your, other with your secretary and all of that. I keep telling all that. You see, God is not interested in disgracing people outside. Other people say, oh, this guy fell into this, this guy fell into that. God must have warned them internally. And I pray God help us in Jesus' name. Amen. So that as the Holy Spirit nudges us, and as we all, speak, we all take precaution in the name of Jesus, we must propose in our hearts to what? To distinguish ourselves by applying godly what? Godly principles and highest ethical standards and what? And quality. I pray God help us in Jesus' name. Amen. That this will give us a sense of direction. What will it give us? A sense of direction and keep us in check against mediocrity. What do we keep about? Yeah, if you have a purpose, if you don't want to do anything wishy washy. If you want to be like a president of this country, you are born here, you want to be a governor, and if, if I, there are things you can't cover up, so you better start now to prepare ground. Amen? Purpose help you to plan how to take off and how to, how to land. I, I pray God help us in Jesus' name. It helps us get distractions. This year will not be distracted. This year we dis you will discourage mediocrity in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, you know what mediocrity is? Something that is not up to standard. That, but you accepted it. You are the one doing it, but you accept that. Uh, yeah. uh, just pray, we say amen, we go. Uh, yeah, I was an idea, no need. Idea. If, if, well, you don't pay attention to details. Uh -huh, there's a problem there. Uh, it could be, there could be a, a, med a, medi a mediocre soup. When the, everything is, is, is not agreeing in the, in the pot, praise, <laughs> praise the Lord, because you have no time. As you are cooking, you are watching a good boom with what you, uh, praise the Lord. And as the pot gets burnt, you pour it away, you wash away the, and there is taste of what? Of burnt uh, soup. Don't ask my wife how many pots are burnt. <laughs> praise the Lord. <laughs> One day I saw the pot packed out. Yeah, you want to trash them? I say, God, have this. Amen. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Well, for men, it's allowed, but for women, <laughs> it's a standard. You must have a standard. Amen. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Yeah, because you, you guys are, women are very naturally intelligent. Amen. They have. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, not, it's, not, it's natural. Uh, when they tell your husband, this, this man, your friend, is going to kill you, <laughs> you, better, you better pay attention to it. They've sent, they can sense that far, from afar, it's a dangerous friend. Praise the Lord. That is why as men, we must not do anything to put our family in trouble. Don't say, hey, let me take this salary, go and gamble a little bit, let me go to uh -huh. yeah, you lose the money for mortgage and your wife is suffering. Uh, God will help us in Jesus' name. <laughs> Praise the Lord, somebody. Like I've said, uh, uh, let me see if I can even f uh, finish this part, part A of it. The next time, when I have opportunity, we'll do another. Because by God's grace, every Sunday has his plan. So we, we may not be able to repeat some things, but another time we'll repeat them. God help us in Jesus' name. What will, it, what will direction give us? Sense of what? Sense, I mean, focus will give us what? Sense of direction. Uh, it will deliver us from what? From mediocrity. Uh, and what else is there? It, uh, corruption, cutting corners, and other 
vices because you have a goal. I pray all of us who have a goal to be better, to be efficient, and to be the best this year in the mighty name of Jesus. It's something we should think of, something we should deliberate on by, with our spirit. Say, well, this year I want to be better in every area. So I want to have a focus right from onset, and I pray God help us. The Bible says, Daniel proposed in his heart that he would not defile himself with the portion of the king's delicacies, nor with the wine which he, which he drank. Therefore, he requested of the chief of the eunuchs that he might not defy himself. Daniel proposed in his heart. That determination saw him through to the king of uh, Dairos from Nebuchadnezzar Dairos and to the revelation he had of the time they're supposed to be free from Babylon and all of that. Because he was studious. Amen? He was making input into his psyche, into his mind, into his brain. He was getting refined per day. He said, by reason of reading books, that's what the Bible says, he, he had revelation. I pray we all have revelation in the name of Jesus. Yeah. How do we become excellent? By daily, when we daily appeal for help from above. We daily appeal for what? Help from above. You mention it specifically, Lord, I need wisdom concerning this project, wisdom concerning this issue. Please guide me. We daily appeal for what? For help. Like we said, it's, uh, it's going to help us in the mighty name of Jesus. Need, uh, Daniel knew he needed mercy and what? And wisdom. More so, he was operating in a very hostile environment. You need wisdom. At work, you need mercy and what? And wisdom to deal with your colleagues and all of that. And I pray God help us in Jesus' name. Even in the church, what do we need? We need what? Mercy and every area of our lives, in marriage, everywhere. We need, as we deal with ourselves, as we deal with our children, with our spouses, we need God's help, God's mercy, and God's wisdom. So let's daily appeal to the Almighty God. Let's go upstairs to obtain advanced information, advanced help beyond ourselves. Left to us, we are humans, and we, we are, the Bible says we have this treasure where? In earthly vessels. So we are not strong. We are, the best of us is vulnerable, especially when you are asleep. Amen? Uh, you are weak and all of that. And I pray the Almighty God will help us to, to learn to, to tap from, the, 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 to, to, to utilize the, the G factor, the God's factor. Amen? That's what Jesus told disciples. It's far that they followed him. He said, tarry where? In Jerusalem. Tarry in Jerusalem. Until what? Receive power from where? From on high. You need that extra help every day. Don't go to work thinking you, got, you can do it. Amen? Because the fellow you are going to meet, maybe he has, he has, he has, he, he, he has put something on his tongue before coming. And whatever he says you should do, you are going to be obeying because it's operating where? At a different realm. But we are supposed to be operating what are the highest what? Realm. That's what we are saying. So you need to tap into what is available in the spirit realm. Every one of us. For our scholarship, for our marriage, for our children. If you're, a, if you're a leader, a departmental leader, if you're a pastor, every, you have to. I would say, ask, you shall what? You shall be given. Seek, we shall find. Knock. How many of us will ask for wisdom? The spirit of excellence. Amen. You have it in the name of Jesus. Now, if we want to be excellent, we must maintain constant uh, constancy. We must be consistent in quality and in character. Praise the Lord. We must what? Be consistent in how you, you're finishing the touch you put on things. Mm, that's why I say compose. I don't, I don't compose useless songs. Amen? Praise the Lord. In fact, you can take my song and preach with it, with just the standard to preach. 
so I don't compose. So I, I work a little bit hard. On, those, those of you here, maybe for, for months, try to balance them up. Amen? And by God's grace, I'm going to write a book too. It's going to be the same thing. Spend time to polish them. And nobody, nobody treasure mediocrity. Yeah? If you have a shop here and another fellow has a shop there, but the, the other fellow's shop is neat and she's consistently there by 8 a.m. and all of that, you know that, oh, that might, it closes by maybe extra time by now. This other fellow closes by 7. Why is it closing by 7? To go and watch a movie. But this other guy knows that he has a business to maintain. Amen? Amen. So as a student, you know you have a business in school. <laughs> is that not? You went there to what? To start not to go and be discussing all that. And I've told us as employees, you don't need to work to discuss politics. Uh, this, uh, I think Biden was better than... Uh, uh, who saying you? Is that why you... <laughs> praise the Lord. <laughs> Amen. As you are doing that, your boss is angry. He's not telling you. Amen? I want to, to put someone to a very bad place. You that is against his politics. Is what? Go and be discussing politics over them. Not yet. <laughs> Praise the Lord. I pray we shall be focused in Jesus' name. We must be consistent, and I pray God will help us. It, consistency this, this, this discourages lowering of standards. When you are, what is it? Lowering of what? Of standards. Um, of standards and all of that. No matter the pressure, Daniel never bowed. He never bent. Amen? He was there three times a day. He did what? He prayed. He never. Whether they said they're going to kill him or not, he never lowered what the standard. I pray that all of us will not lower the standard in the name of Jesus. I say, ah, um, this money they left with me, they don't even ask of it. Now let me chop it. We are going to ask for it when auditor comes and uh, audit the place. They say, somebody missed it. I say, hey, Miss um, uh, Mutun Rayo. Did you return this? Where's the receipt for that? Uh, uh, then you start telling lies. You returned it. Uh, where did, did you retire the money they gave to you? Uh, I retired it, but you know you're lying. I put, I put, he said, in those days, when they're looking for an accountant, they go to church. But today, if you're looking for an accountant, they run away from the church. <laughs> and they, <laughs> praise the Lord. <laughs> because they'll be eating the money and be tipping the tongue, Rabashanda Satalan. They are not here in the church. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Praise the Lord. They'll be chopping the money and be speaking the what? In tongues. Uh, we must not lower what? The standard. If you're going to work regularly, please try and maintain it. Oh, off, off. Uh, maybe one day something happened, you couldn't make it early. Let it be that off thing. As a Christian, you must honor God. In that place of work, we must honor God where? In this church. And we should be improving, like I told you, by the grace of God. All the things we need, all the topics we need. In fact, if all the topics we need for every Sunday, by the grace of God, instead of polishing them, they are ready. That, as the choir. I suffered recently that all the songs they are going to sing, they have them. The hymns. Amen. Praise the Lord. If, as the media said, on there, some of the things there are under, under you. <laughs> because they don't have enough hands. Amen. Everything the media needs huh, is provided. And at times, as a leader, you have to inconvenience yourself. Well, there's a query. Pastor, what did you do, what did you do this altar like this? I keep telling them there's a reason for it. Amen. Is it not easy for me to walk from here to here? Huh? It's easy now. But when our children come and they line up, and nobody's falling from this chair, I'm excited. Amen. Yes. So, okay, we're going to be having a choreographer. Let them just a few day. Well, we may change it later. Amen. <laughs> to your 
you know, what, you, uh, what some of us are asking for. We want to change it. We do something else. I'm sure they will not fall in Jesus. Just yeah. that it shrinks the space for them to stand. We must maintain what? Consistency. We must be consistent in what we are doing. Then we keep on improving. We must not lower the standard at all, no matter what, the pressure. Uh, lastly, because of our time, we must strive to be better or extremely good. Don't compare yourself with somebody who is failing who is not doing well. So afterwards, I'm better than uh, sister this, sister that, or brother this. But I would say, those that compare themselves with themselves, what? They are foolish. Don't compare yourself with anybody. Compare yourself with Jesus. I want to be like Jesus. I want to be like that, the G-O. Amen? Amen. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Amen? You used to wonder how he has time to go to other nations, how he has time to that open, open heaven. How he has to, well, the last time I met him, he said, well, he has a mathematical mind. Amen. <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Just wonder how he does that. Uh, strive to be better and what? Extremely good. If you are playing instrument here, what do you do? You want to be better. In everything you do, it's for whatever. And backward never in the name of Jesus. Amen. Read things up, Google things up, then read, read them. Try to be better or extremely good. Daniel was a leader. He said, Leaders are going to be leaders. Daniel chapter 9, verse 2, it says, Daniel chapter 9, verse 2. What, what, we, is it there? What is it? In the first year of his reign, I, Daniel, understood by what? By book. Is that? Or what? Books. By what? Books. So we should be ready to read books. Amen? He said the number of the years by which, the, 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 in which they, they've been in slavery. He said he understood by what? By books. So the Bible is the book of God. The, the fact, if you have the Bible and you're keeping the principles, you don't need any, any other thing. The Bible says, tell the righteous what? Shall be well. So it's been in the scripture. So if you read the scripture, you get information. And I pray God help us in the name of Jesus. But I stood by what? By reading books. Paul said, the parchment, the books are left in that city. When you're coming, do what? Bring them. The man were not just solid. The man was making input into his system. Amen? Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. We have been asking for somebody to be our uh, librarian. Today, come forward. <laughs> when he goes, we fish you out to. to the, I will see you in the dream. I say, okay, I saw you in the dream. But yeah. let's not go be dreamy. Let's come out now. We can, you, can, you can develop it. <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> Who I send? I suggest somebody? If you are not no no if you are not reading, be willing to read. You can change. Uh, no you, no you can't change now. It's just that you discover with the pastor. I give you what you are going to be reading. You report to me. I have read so so books. It's, it's very simple. We, we improve on ourselves. God help us in Jesus' name. Amen. Then my office has books. Amen. My office has what? Plenty plenty of books. So you can come and borrow them. And we have audio books. Some of you have not returned your audio books. If you have audio books, please bring them back. We have audio books here too. Amen? So there are books everywhere. And if you go down there to the children's department, you saw that big, um, some there are books there. So let, let us be, uh, let's be like Osa. Where is Osa? Osa, amen? <laughs> the bookworm, amen? <laughs> Professor Osa, praise the Lord. Amen? That man likes to read. But today, what do we call him? Prof. Man. It, that is true. You have to start from somewhere. He didn't get there overnight. God help us in Jesus' name. Amen. Please start. Reading helps us to tap into what? Into the excellency 
of others in print. You are tapping other people's brain that is in print. If you are reading the biography of, 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 of Chief Awolo, of Awolo, now you are tapping into all those, uh, his, those ideas, <laughs> those ideals of free school, uh, radio station, television in the West before another person. We, in, well, we are in the, as, as Africa, we are Akoko Edo, we are part of Edo, uh, Akoko, which part of a career and all of that. We used to sing a song, I will always see ideas. He share Oh, she share. Amen. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Uh, those are the man's concept ideas of education with, with sense. Not just reading and it has, you can't make impact. He said, you have to, uh, this is our land, we must till it uh, as we go to school. So when you go to school, you sing that song. Your mind is that, okay, my education will not be useless. I'm going to make impact where? Yeah, in the society. We are talking of the spirit of what? Of excellence. And I pray God will make us excellent. In the mighty name of Jesus. Reading will help us to tap into what? Beyond. Somebody's as intelligence. Somebody's as experience. So today, let us encourage ourselves in the spirit of what? Of excellence. Let us propose in our heart never to be what? To be a mediocre. Never. You must not do things wishy-washy. Now, if you write something you can't, you can't, you don't understand it very well, tell, let somebody else check it out for you. Amen? Praise the Lord. You can send it to me. If I, there's somebody who writes and I say, look, let me, I think I need to correct what you write. And I tell the fellow, send it to me. Amen? Do what? Send it to me. I'll, I'll balance it up uh, and all of that for you. Amen? You are laughing. Are you going to send me something to correct? I can edit. edit for, praise the Lord. Yeah, encourage yourself. And, and who knows whether I, I corrected something for you or not? Eh? Nobody knows. So, why, how, but how come you are writing things, you are using words instead of is, uh, comma instead of full stop? Uh -huh. if, you, if, you not, if you are not sure, yeah, we might as well have people edit us. Amen? We have them in the church. Go help us in Jesus' name. And help us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let's decide to be studious this time. Let's decide to maintain high standard. When the, the workers must be here by 9 and you are coming by 10, that is mediocrity. There's no, there's no standard at all. Uh, go help us in Jesus' name. Let's propose in our heart that we're going to what? Going to be the best what? Of the, not just the best of the best. Go help us in Jesus. I will rise.